All right, so right out the gate, I wanted to run this play just because similar to the Baltimore game, you'll see that it looked like Derek Carr missed the wide open rugs, but at the same time, you just kind of go through the progressions. But on this play particularly, he didn't really get the blocking he needed to really send it to rugs. But I want to go ahead and let it run and show you guys, okay, there was a chance for him to get this ball to rugs. But if you go ahead and look at Andre James's guy, is already in pursuit to take Derek Carr down. So we kind of had to settle here. But I feel like if the blocking would have held up, you'll see Ruggs runs right across the face of Terrell Edmonds, the strong safety number 34 right there at the uh, left of your screen. And you see, boom, he's open. Now, if Carr would have had the time, I feel like, or maybe even read this sooner, he could have had that. But there was so many things in particular that had to have happened correctly just to get the job done. And uh, you'll see the ball ends up being incomplete, throwing it down there. And I'll go ahead and run it back for you guys one more time just to see it. And I'll watch Andre James, this guy, see the reason he didn't really get the time. See Andre James. And there, right there, he just had to let it go. Now, I feel like Derek Carr could have got that one in there. But on to the next play, not really tripping like that. It is what it is. And here we are. We got, again, we're back in the shotgun. You see Ruggs is right there inside uh, the bottom of your screen in between Drake, which is at the bottom of your screen, and then Edwards, which is inside of Ruggs. And the reason I put this one in is just watch how he gets off the ball and how the guy presses him. Just watch how he his body language. I didn't really like the body language. I would like to see a lot more um, be him, watch him be a lot more firm, stern, and strong at the point of attack when you come in contact with the defender. So go ahead and watch this. So you see he's watching the ball, waiting for the snap. He goes up, and he kind of just tussles and puts his hands up. You know what I mean? I would like to see him dig dig deep into the chest of the defender like you're almost going to drive through the defender and then stop and come back to the ball so you see how he kind of just he runs up and he kind of just you see what i'm saying and of course he just throws it to drake i could be nitpicking at this point but all i'm saying is that i don't like to see him just kind of stand there and stutter step and just put his hands up in the chest. No, put your shoulder, put your shoulder, put your body into the chest of that defender. Make Drive him backwards and then make him decide, oh, dang, is he going to go upfield? And then you just pull it back. So let's go ahead on to this next play. You see him in the slot. He kind of just, he does a slow roll and he gets out. Boom, that's an easy gain about 15. Easy gain about 15. Such a simple play. But we always want to see Ruggs go deep. We always think Ruggs is just a deep threat. No, if you can get the ball to him in short yardage, watch him. Where are we at right now? About the 29-yard line. You see him right there in the slot. He does a slow roll. Gets it right there about the 26-yard line. He only caught the ball about two yards from the line of scrimmage or so. You see him. Boom, 10 yards. Almost 15 yards off of a simple little dump pass. That's how fast he is, right? Watch it one more time. Rerun. And you'll see, slow rolls it. Minka Fitzpatrick is covering this man. Minka Fitzpatrick is covering this man. And that's what we're doing. Now, Minka kind of does a weird thing to where he jumps in front of Brian Edwards. Watch this. He jumps in front of Brian Edwards just in case the slant is there, right? And then he goes to play rugs. It's like there's too many weapons. He was he was trying to outsmart himself. I'm not sure what Minka was doing there. But he probably should have went just straight towards rugs because rugs' is, speed is going to kill him. Let's watch it one more time in, in uh, full speed. There it is. Easy money. Slow roll. Pick up on the outside. Take off. By the time he caught the ball, he was already upfield about 13, 14 yards. That's a beautiful short yardage situation. Excuse me, short yardage pass uh, turned into a long game. And I think Ruggs could do this all day. Get him the ball in short yardage situations. Now, here's this play. I don't remember exactly what play this was right here. You can see him at the bottom of your screen, though. Going up. Oh, okay, this is the comeback. And he misses it. This right here, look how he comes out of the break. Look how he comes out of the break. I didn't really. I feel like he should have. The break wasn't as crisp as you would like to see. And then he didn't really come back to the ball. It's almost like Carr wanted it, wanted to see him come back to the ball and go to the outside. And let's go back one more time and watch it. 
And the reason I think that is, and I think Ruggs needs to pick up on this. Ruggs needs to pick up on this. And you'll see, of course, at the bottom of your screen, once again, he goes up. And right there, he's wide open. The ball is already out of Carr's hands, y'all. The way I think Ruggs needs to run this is go to the outside and come back to the ball. You see the defender to the inside of him. You see the defenders on the inside of Ruggs. You see him at the top of Ruggs. Nobody's on the outside, and I think that's where Carr's putting the ball, where only he can get it, or he can come back, catch the ball, and still make a play with room along the sideline. But you see here, he just he just kind of stays in place. He goes back, he kind of just stays in place. He doesn't come back to the ball. He doesn't go to the outside. And then he kind of just reaches and jumps. You got to run a better route than that, in my opinion. You have to be situationally aware of what's going on, be aware of your surroundings, understanding the situation. I think Carr put the ball where he needed to put it. Could have been a lot more accurate um, in the terms of if you just want to put it right on him. But I think the mindset is put it outside, have rugs come back to the ball, and keep it away from the defenders. Right, keeping that boundary as a, as a safety blanket so nobody else can get the ball. Um, either way, it could have been it could have been a catch, but I do like the fact that we're going to this right, that we're seeing Rugs getting these opportunities to make the comeback catches and then seeing what he can do with the ball. Obviously, he didn't catch it here, but if we're doing it in the game, that means we're showing um, showing where we're trying to go in which direction. We're trying what we're trying to do with rugs, right? Open up the game plan a little bit. Here we are, very next play. Um, I think I, I think it is the very next play. Okay, so here you got the wide receiver bunch at the bottom of your screen, and you got rugs. He's just going boom, hits him with the post, and he's gone. Honestly, the the corner, the corner didn't even stumble a step really too much. Rugs' speed is just is just his speed. What can you say? You got Minka right there. Watching everything that's going on, one of the best safeties in the league, and he just gets he doesn't need honestly, Minka didn't know what to do. If you watch it, Minka didn't know what to do. Once the speed once the speed was there, he turned around, he just took off running. He just tried to locate rugs as fast as he could. Watch Minka right here. He just turns around, he's like, Where is Rugs? He just takes off. He just looks straight at Rugs and he just takes off trying to grab him and he doesn't. He just lays there because he knows. You ever see a dead body? Bow. He just lays there. Touchdown. Easy peasy. And that's how we're going to end this one, y'all. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Welcome to Rated Tape. If y'all new here, make sure y'all hit that sub button. Hit the like button if you like this video. Just wanted to drop something really quick um, for this week because I haven't dropped any film studies, but I for sure wanted to drop this one. So for everybody that's been uh, hanging with me, um, that's already been subscribed, appreciate it. Make sure y'all tune in for the pregame live show with me and Honcho this week, week three against the Miami Dolphins in Las Vegas. It's going to be lit. So until next time, y'all, break the tape.